We always say that you can walk the conservation walk and you can talk the conservation talk within an area, but you cannot do it if you do not have the buy-in from your local community. Why are you all here? What are we going to do today? Beach cleaning. Beach cleaning. So if we leave all of the rubbish lying around, and if we leave a chip packet lying in the street, the wind takes it, and it takes it through to the water courses, so all of the little streams and everything. And where does those streams go? We work with uh, the local communities, um, bringing the kids in, doing Marine Big Five lessons with them, and a huge emphasis on environmental education and just creating awareness into the plight of our marine environment, but also trying to reinstall that pride into the, the natural heritage within the area. To mark International Coastal Cleanup Day, the Dyer Island Conservation Trust, together with its partners, rounded up kids from the local community to do a beach cleanup. It doesn't help us to go out and do beach cleanups and save birds within the area and other animals. And it's only us that do it. So we need to have the buy-in from the community. We're very fortunate. Both businesses and locals um, support us in, in much of our initiatives. We work extremely closely with the Overstrand Municipality, Cape Nature, with various of the foundations within the area, Grootbos Foundation, um, the Dibanisa Foundation, and a lot of other businesses that, that comes with us when, whenever we do any of our, our conservation initiatives, supports us, carries out the word, word to the world out there. And, um, and through that, we have been able to do a lot more on an ecological base as well. Again. The children tackled the clean-up with great enthusiasm and were clear on their mission to clean up their coast. The Dyer Island Conservation Trust was approached by Volkswagen South Africa um, as a logistical sponsor. And this was our first big corporate sponsor and we're still going strong with them um, four years later and we are, we are extremely proud and, and very happy to have them on board as a sponsor and supporter of all of the programs that the Trust runs. They come to eat the mites ne? and then they eat, eat this plastic. Also what they look at, all that piece of plastic was in one corner, as you can see. The sun has burned it. Where's the fishing boat? After a fun-full day at the beach where the children managed to clean up and do their bit for the environment, it was time to head back and see just how much litter they managed to remove. The children managed to collect a whopping 120 kilograms of waste, making sure that it doesn't find its way into our oceans. But today was not only about cleaning up the coast, it was about saving our marine life educating our youth and appreciating our natural heritage. Here at the Dyer Island Conservation Trust, we say thanks to our generous partners who have helped to make all this work possible.